Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Three Bands. Man, really excited to share with you this series on the forum um, for a couple different reasons. A, because I'm just excited that Adidas put some energy and effort behind making the forum great again. And I'm really even more excited about these shoes and all the stories that they represent. You know, back in 2020, when Adidas started this push, they decided that A, they were gonna have great general releases. And, and to this day, they're still putting out, you know, the most recent ones with the M&Ms and all those different colors is just really cool. But there's so many others I could talk about, like the UNCs and the 1984 retros. All of these are just really great shoes. They also made a hard push into coming up with a, and collaborating with something that would be very hype so they can get that to the masses as well. And the Bad Bunny line, they knocked that away. They knocked that out of the park as well. What was really cool though is they reached out to Jason Coles and they, they got him to collaborate and write a book on Jacques Chassing who created, this is the 1984 forum, right? And not only did they talk about the forum and its history and where it came from, but they also talked about all the other great shoes. And it is just chock full of amazing stories. So that was pretty dope in itself. And then the last thing they did was, you know, we are coming out of, at that particular time, COVID-19, and there was a cry for systemic justice, and rightly so. So what they wanted to do was create a friends and family edition, and that's what a lot of these shoes are behind me. And they, when they reached out to these boutique brands, they said, so here's the deal, guys. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to let you make these shoes, right? We're going to give you amazing materials and quality and craftsmanship, which all of these are. If you've had a pair of these in your hand, then you know that. But here's the catch. You have to do it for a great cause. You have to give to the community, surround it with your community that you're in, and then all the money has to go to the charity. And you know what? They responded hands down with just some amazing silhouettes. With that being said, a lot of these silhouettes were gifted to a lot of the other YouTubers out there and they covered the shoes. But a thing that they missed, which I gravitate to and I know a lot of you do too, are the stories behind it. And that's kind of where I wanted to come in and connect the dots because I wanted to start with the bodegas because the bodegas in itself have just a great, great story. And I know, and I really want you to hear this story. So I'm just gonna back up to 1984. I've got some couple of notes over here. 1984 is when the Karate Kid came out, Ghostbusters, 16 Candles, Prince released Purple Rain, RIP Prince. I got a chance before he died to see him in concert. Um, man, whoo! I gotta tell you, it was amazing. John and Yoko released Milk and Honey. You had the Fat Boys, the Smiths, Red Hot Chili Peppers. And this, this group called uh, Run DMC came out with their self-entitled debut items. MTV hosted their first music video awards. Crack and HIV were discovered. Mm. Uh, the Celtics were champs and so were the Raiders. This man was introduced, if you remember those, uh, go to your archive. 3.5 inch floppy disc was out there and a big shout out for the Cinnamon Toast Crunch being released. <laughs> Uh, but 1984 was also the year that this particular shoe right here, the 1984 Forum was released. Jacques Chassin, one of the first shoes to cost over $100. And it, not the price point really was, and you'll learn this as, you, as we go on further and I talk about the book more, was about the technology that's in the shoe and the craftsmanship and the quality, which was just second to none. But let's go ahead and jump on into the bodega. So three bands, Tim, what's up with the bodega? Well, the bodega first, um, it's, this shoe kind of represents the OG colorway, if you can kind of see that here from the, from the original. But Bodega has such a rich story rooted in Boston. These, these shoes are a tribute to Boston. Let me just go ahead and show you the insole of this. It says on the insole, it has the rose symbol, which is Bodega uses. It says so much. Now, what does this mean? It's about the age old wisdom of giving people their flowers while they're still present we all know if we go to a funeral you're going to memorialize them and you're going to give them flowers and pay your thanks but why not do it while people are still here bodega is represented and it says so much because that's what they want us to do they want us to take notice of our surroundings and let people that we know and love and respect know it while they're here so that initially grabbed me the next thing that grabbed me about it was just the whole history behind bodega in boston and how boston was one of those cities that represented Adidas tough. And when I mean tough, I mean they made it a part of their culture. They made it a part of their identity. And it all came, started around 1986 when Walk This Way, My Adidas, you know, uh, Aerosmith created the track for My Adidas. They're from Boston, so hence 
they had that identity going into it. And of course, Run DMC represented the shell toe really, really hard. So what ended up happening was Boston took on that because New York City has always been David versus Goliath versus New York, you know. They had, the, they had the Nike, so they adopted the Adidas. So much as so as after the movie Colors came out, the neighborhoods would just, you know, you didn't want to walk into the different neighborhoods unless you were wearing Adidas. Uh, but more so than that, it was more about a sense of pride, more about a sense of community, more about representing where you're from and being proud of where you're from. Uh, one of the neat stories that are, is from an article on Bodega was the, let me just pull this up. They had these parks and they were called Adidas Parks. One of them is in Roxbury on Interval Street. And they all had what was called these Christmas tree of shoes. And after balling out and playing basketball, they would throw these their, their worn out shoes up in the tree. But also, and I know we have all know about this and we've seen this in different movies and different cities depending on where we grew up, you would throw your shoes up to represent someone who had died and passed away. Again, just memorializing them uh, as the shoes that they have worn have taken people all throughout their steps and their journey in life. What a fitting way to pay tribute to that. And in different neighborhoods, right, there would be maybe two Christmas trees of shoes. So much more to that story. But with that being said, um, Boston, not it's not the only one but it is one of the cities that really took it on and it made adidas a part of their history so much so that they came up with this symbol and this saying called throwing the threes right that's where this sign is this isn't a gang sign but you're going to see this even to this day right now people throwing threes now what does that mean throwing the threes well have you heard this saying and i know you have called earning your stripes earning your stripes is about respect it's about paying your dues and throwing your threes is about saying earning your stripe paying your dues and giving respect and again i just think that is just epic uh i just want to put up one of these shoes and just kind of show you some of the details i mentioned the rose hit right i want you to look at this right here this is uh actually a rose and this is the green stem down here the shoe itself and i'll just kind of go around it has the snakeskin details and they just have beautiful quality and craftsmanship it's just a sick sick shoe now let me grab this other one, and it's pretty much the same deal, so you can see it with the strap tied around it. Isn't that gorgeous? Such a beautiful silhouette. I guess, you know, that's this story, and kind of what I want to end off with is, you know, what's the big deal about having a new pair of shoes, or having a new shirt, or anything, and why is it such a big part of culture? The reason is because people need to have an identity, people need to connect with something, and people need to have a sense of pride and accomplishment in what they do every day, and I know I'm the same. So maybe I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth, but I can tell you one thing, I do feel really good when I go out and I get a fresh haircut and I got a fresh shirt on, and you know what, maybe I don't make a lot of money, but I save up and I can get a really nice pair of shoes and I keep them clean. And you know what, for me, when I'm able to put together something like that and I can look good and I can feel good and I can go out and I I can say you know what I got me a little piece of heaven right here you know and I can just say man is it good to be me it can help me feed on the bad things that are going on in my life and help me keep striving towards what I want to have it gives me a sense of pride it gives me a sense of being who I am and being happy in my own skin and that's what it's about so these shoes and these stories and everything that I'm gonna go about with you is about the story it's about collecting and gravitating to things you love and I know there are a lot of people out there just like me so this is three bands until next time I'm out peace uh -huh.